Making inserts or inlays using Inkscape and JS Cut is really easy. It's a lot of fun for CNC work. So we start with Inkscape, awesome program. The first thing I always do before I design anything in Inkscape is to set the parameters for the cutting table that I've got. So we go to Document Properties. I switch everything over into inches. and then change the width and height. For the table I've got, the width, I go with about 14 inches. My max table distance is about 15 inches. I like a little bit of a cushion. And we change the height to nine. I can go up to 10 inches, but again, I like to have a little bit of cushion in there. So this is the actual cutting area for the CNC that I have. For this little inlay project, we're not going to use the whole area. We're just going to start with a little shape. Let's zoom in a little bit. And the first thing to do is to make a background. So we'll just start with a box. So we've got our piece of wood here that we're going to do an inlay with. The yellow is our piece of wood. The next thing to do is to design a shape that we want to be our inlay. So for this we'll keep it real simple and we'll just do a box to put inside. So that'll be our inlay. The next thing we need to do is do something called a linked offset. So we come up to path, come down to linked offset click on that. And if we zoom in, we've got this little diamond right here. And what we want to do is just pull our offset a little bit out. And you can see you can make this as big or as small as you want. We want this to be just a hair off. And this just takes some practice to see what works the best with with, with your puzzle, with uh, whatever you're insetting or inlaying. Next thing to do is to break these two apart. So we come up to Path, to Object. Let's go with Path. We're going to break apart. And we can pull these apart. And the way this is going to work is this is going to be the pocket and this is going to be used for the inlay. And from here on, it's pretty simple. It's very straightforward. We're going to save these each as different SVGs. This is not going to be one SVG. We're going to save this as a pocket and this as an outline cut. So what I usually do is open up another Inkscape screen. and then copy this to another Inkscape screen. And then save this as one file. And save this as our other. So let's change our properties here. These are the dimensions for the CNC machine that I have. And again, this is going to be our inlay part. So we'll save this as square inlay. We can close this and we'll 
we'll save this. Square pocket inlay. The next thing is to open up JS Cut and set up our toolpaths. This is JS Cut, jscut.org. It's an awesome program. You can run it in your browser. It works really, really well with Inkscape. So let's open up the insert that we designed. So this is going to be our pocket. As far as the settings on my machine, I've been doing this with some soft wood so we can go kind of quickly. So we'll set that at 60. These are all individual preferences for what folks want to do. Do point zero six two five. Click in here. Create operation, and this is going to be a pocket. So what I've been playing with is using a piece of pine for the backing, and a quarter inch piece of trim or plywood for the insert. So if we're using a quarter inch piece of plywood, 0.25, generate, and we can simulate. And we can see that that's our pocket. So this is what we're going to put the inlay in. And then we can save this however we would like to save it. Next thing to do is to open up our our other file. And this is just our square that's going to fit in there. It fills the screen here. This is not the actual size. So we set our our parameters. click on our shape and then go to outside. This is about a quarter of an inch thick. We go to generate so we can simulate it and see what we have here. So this is the inlay part. This is the wood that will sit into the other piece. save it however we want to save it. We have our two files here. We can open those up in mock or whatever program is running the CNC and cut out our pieces. These are some inserts, some inlays I was playing with earlier today. This one is obviously looser, and this comes down to that linked offset and how far you pull out or how far you leave it in. This would be great for kids' puzzles or for something that you want to be able to easily get to. For this one, I made it much tighter, and a quick tap with a mallet made this one sit nice and tight. This is just pine. This is plywood, so the pine did a little bit of chip out. But this is a super tight fit. So the process works really well. It's fun to play around with, and you can get some neat results. Inkscape and JS Cut. It's a lot of fun. Thanks very much for taking a look.